my first job was with Inkstrom, Lipscomb and & Lack, an insurance defense firm. And it was a great job. They gave me great responsibility. I really learned a lot there. I didn't mind, you know, representing the defendants. I was okay with it. You know, everybody, each side has a, a right to a good representation. And each side should have good representation. But I think that eventually I wanted to be representing the individuals, the, the people, not the powerful. I always wanted to be a plaintiff lawyer. My father was a plaintiff lawyer. It was a risk to start my own firm, certainly. Uh, people told me it's going to be great, you're going to do great, but you never know that until you do it. But, you know, in our practice, you need to take risks, and I'm glad I did. Make sure that you got good people with you. I mean, the key is not one person can do it all. You need to have great supporting cast of people. You got to be willing to work hard. You got to be willing to take risks. Most of the clients that we represent couldn't afford to hire lawyers. But we're their only choice, their only hope, a contingency lawyer. Without the contingent fee, without lawyers willing to take risks, many clients would never have their day in court. It's important to network, to meet other lawyers, to build up your reputation, to help other people because it's going to come back to you many, many times over. So when someone calls you and asks you for a deposition or some help or advice, we give whatever we can to help them. We're all in competing towards the same goal. It's great representation of our clients, trying to make things better for them, making a difference. And there's plenty of cases, there's plenty of people that need representation. So I wouldn't worry that, you know, if you're going to help somebody else, they're going to get an advantage on you. I think it's the other way. If you help someone, it's going to come back and help you and your clients in the long run. How my philosophy is, you know, to, to compete, compete hard, but within the rules. And at the end of the day, when it's over, you know, the other side's doing the same thing that you are to represent their client as best you could. And there'll be another day. And don't, you know, leave it all in one case. It's... Life and the practice of law is much bigger than one case, and one case is never going to change something one way or the other. It's not always about the money, even though everybody says it is. Uh, there's a lot more to it than that, and your reputation is the most important thing. Be a sponge for information. Read as much as you can. Go to seminars. Learn from other lawyers who are experienced make connections with other lawyers. And be nice to the defense attorneys. You never know when they might want to help you. They can help you on your case, or they may be able to, they may have someone that's in need of representation, and they may want you to represent their friend or their family member. I wish that they would have shared with me that uh, a lot of things don't really matter. Don't sweat the small stuff. You gotta get the big picture. And battling over little things that are inconsequential really aren't going to help you get to where you need to be. Balance uh, is important. The law uh, can be all-consuming, but it's not healthy to be like that, and it's important to have a balanced life. You just got to, you know, be disciplined and say, you know, you're going to set aside time to be with your family, to do things that you enjoy, to work out, make sure that you're doing what you need to do to be healthy. Without question, the most satisfying is uh, the clients. To get to know the client, to know that you're their only hope, you're their champion, and at the end of the case, to know that you've done the best you could, and it usually works out for them, and that, that you made a difference in their life, and their life will be better. You may not be able to correct everything and make them better if they're injured or something like that, but you can make them have a better quality of life, and you've made a difference in their life, and you've touched somebody. The trial lawyer who I think is most successful is the person who's lived the case. I think a lot of lawyers think they can come in at the end and read somebody else's deposition and gather the information and then go present it. Or are you the lawyer who's going to do the work on the case and then talk to the jury about it 